hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, this is a bit of a satire video. I'm being tongue in cheek. It's kind of like I'm being serious and trying to be funny at the same time, where some aspects of the video I'm serious, but then some aspects I'm not. Sometimes you have to explain that stuff because some people take stuff overly personal. But with that being said, let's begin. So it appears that DDG and Haley Bailey have parted ways. Um, they they announced that they have decided to go their separate ways, but they will co-parent and raise their son together. Now, with that being said, you had a lot of people in particularly, you know who, you know what group of people that was rooting against them not being together. You know, you had black women talking about he ruined her career and all this stuff by getting her pregnant and all this kind of stuff. When technically, uh, DDG is worth more money than Haley ba Bailey. So, you know, with that being said, uh, had to shut y'all down on that. But nevertheless, people constantly complain about black couples and procreating together. And that's what they did. Cause as far as I know, both of them are black and call themselves black, but you know, um, anyway, so apparently what I think <laughs> could have possibly played a role in this is that damn Usher concert. So here it is. Usher appears to come in between another black couple. We all know what happened with Kiki Palmer, but nevertheless, uh, Usher was, you know, having a concert and basically he appeared to try to put a grape or a cherry in Haley Bailey's mouth. DDG snatched it and, you know, kind of like fed it to her himself. Or it looks that's what it appeared to be. But with that being said, when I saw that video, I said, yeah, there's going to probably be a problem. And I understand he kind of handled it like a G. He kind of didn't say nothing to Usher. But as a man, you're going to kind of look at, hey, dude, you're trying to disrespect me in front of my woman. This is why you don't go to those kind of concerts with your woman. And I don't know why the singer always try to go to the lady that got a man. And I'm pretty sure he know that they're together. But all the women there, he picked Haley Bailey. So to a certain degree, it kind of comes across as he was trying to disrespect DDG. And I don't blame him for kind of like, OK, but the fact of the matter is, it appears that it looked like she was going to let him do that. She has to understand she's with somebody and she's with somebody at a concert. Now, you know, you're going to have the simple minded and particularly black women come on here and try to say, oh, he he's insecure and all that kind of stuff, you know, and the only women that justify this type of behavior or women that have a whore like mentality that have what you call the inner city inner city girl mentality you know a Keisha and Riri type of chick because look at it that this way how would you feel if Lotto or Glorilla basically called a man up to the stage and you with your man and basically she grabbed your man's head and put it up against her breast or something you know or pretend to shove his head down and and emulate as if he's going to you know go go down on her and yo man act like he was a willing participant so don't say you wouldn't feel so some kind of way so you can save that insecurity shit don't try to justify you know bad behavior or disrespect towards your man because this day and age, a lot of women feel like, in particular with black men, they feel like they don't have to respect black men. But then at the same time, they expect black men to meet all these unmeetable expectations. You know, so that's unfortunate to hear about that. But, you know, Usher, that's kind of some punk shit that he did. I just got to keep it a buck. And then at the same time, what is you doing sitting up here trying to feed somebody grapes? And where did you get these grapes or cherries from? It's kind of nasty, dude. So you did, did possibly a hour set or two hour set. And you basically walking around with grapes, trying to put them in a woman's mouth. 
And you got to ask yourself, what type of woman would sit up there and let some man put a grape or a cherry in her mouth? You don't know where Usher's hands been. You know, that's what I'm talking about. But Usher's supposed to have some kind of connection to Diddy. And y'all just making it look like Diddy is a, a <laughs> do you know, like this uh, super deviant. So, and we all know that Usher been dealing with Diddy since he was a teenager. So once again, y'all need to have the same energy, but y'all never do. So I just wanted to put that out there. That's a very, you know, disappointing to hear about that. Cause you always root for black couples. I always want black couples to succeed together and grow together. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, keep resources within the community. And, you know, grow our community. But, you know, to a certain degree, that's a pipe dream. But there you have it. I just wanted to give my quick opinion of it. It's your boy town. I'm out.